So I've had Diggory off school for a day and um, I didn't want it just to be a wasted day lounging about watching telly. So I thought of a little game that we could play, which is a simple game. And sometimes, especially with boys, I don't know if it's the same with girls, it's really hard to get them to talk to you about stuff. Um, so I'm always trying to think of ways that we can have a conversation um, and just have a bit of fun together as well that doesn't involve screens, um, doesn't involve nagging and school and homework and stuff like that. So I've got the sick bucket, which hasn't got any sick in it, and I've just made up a load of little questions and written them down on bits of paper. Like, how much do you love me? And I'm not just going to put him on the hot spot. I think we're both going to have a bit of fun with this game and answer all the questions together. What's your favourite activity to do together? Um, lots of little things. What could you do for someone else today? What annoys you most about me? Um, just a few little fun questions and I thought it would be fun to play with the boys but it's probably going to be another one of my disastrous parenting ideas. Are you going to pick your first question? What is the other person's favourite food? So you have to see if you can answer what my favourite food is. Fit. It's definitely not cheesy feet. Right then. It's cheesy, yeah, yeah, it's cheesy. Okay, I'm going to pick this one. Are you ready? Oh, what is your favourite activity to do together? Um, snuggle. That's exactly what I was going to say. How good's that? We had the same answer. I love snuggle time. How much... Do you love me? Oh! To the moon and back. I love you to the moon and back and 20 times around the world. Um. So I love you to the moon and back and 20,000 times round the earth and over every stream well, and every yes. hill. <laughs> I love you to the moon and back. 90,000 hundred times around the world. So we just agree that we love each other to infinity and back again. I think we love each other quite a lot. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye. Right then, Diggs, let's play the game. Grab one of these. What's it going to be? The question that can't be answered. What do you love most about me? Ah, so you have to answer what you think, what you love most about me and I have to answer what I love most about you. What's it going to be, Diggs? Hmm. Hello? Hey, I'm thinking. <laughs> He's thinking. I'll tell you what I love most about you. The thing that I love most about Diggory is that even though he's really driven, really sporty, ambitious and determined, he's still really loving and kind. And that's quite an amazing mixture of things in one person. What do you love most about me? Mm. It can't be that hard to think of something, Diggs. Unless make... there's so many things you love about me that you just can't decide. That you make my cereal for me. Is that it? It's not the cuddles, the kisses, the endless love. He's even had to leave the room. Thanks for that, Diggs. I really felt like you put yourself into that game yeah. wholeheartedly.
I might just play it on my own. Right then, pick a question and answer it. What is the other person's favourite food? What's my favourite food? Spinach. That's it. <laughs> I love spinach. No, egg, egg, egg. Spinach and eggs. I love spinach it. And eggs. I've definitely got a savoury, savoury tooth. Oh. Right then. What? Oh, I've got an answer for you as well. What's Rocco's favourite food? Sushi. Mm. Yep. She's on it. Funny how I know what my child's favourite food is, isn't it? Mm. Okay, here's a question. Mm -hmm. What is our favourite activity to do together? Cinema. Cinema. I'll tell you uh, why I like taking the boys sushi. to the cinema, because I like a little Yo snooze. Yo sushi. Yo sushi. Gives me an hour and a half snooze. Um, yeah, we like Yo sushi, don't we? Mm -hmm. My favourite activity to do together is walking in the woods. Hands down, I love it. What could you both do together to help someone else today? Mm. I like that one, that's my favourite question. Oh, you can take food to the food bank. Good idea. Why don't we go shopping? Because the local food bank's actually been asking for tins of meat, jam, anything in jars and tins. So, that would be a really good thing to do for other people today, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's only one question left. What annoys you most about me? <laughs> Right then, there's nothing annoying about no. me. I have got no annoying habits whatsoever. What annoys you most about me? That I rain on bad behaviour, that I put you to bed, that I take off your screens. I could list the things that probably annoy you about your mum. What things do you think might annoy me? Let's turn this question on its head. What things do you think might annoy me most about you? I'll tell you what's really annoying about Rocco. He doesn't listen and I don't eat my crusts. I don't mind that so much because I think crusts are dry. Quite happy for you not to eat your crust. But I'll tell you what annoys me about you. You do not listen. It's as though his ears Hello? are so... <laughs> drives me insane. Can you switch that off please? Can you switch that off please? Can you come down for dinner please? Your breakfast on the table. That Could you get me in for bed? Could you get in the bath? Honestly, the amount of times that I had to say anything in this house uh, is incredible. And then the funny thing is, they wonder why I get cross. I get cross because I've asked you 20 times to oh, get in the bar. Yeah. Can you stop waving your crisps in front of the camera and eating them right next to the microphone? I've had it with this game. It's driving me mad. Bye.